Okay, so if you do that, oh, stop being aggressive. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's really mad. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, I'll place it down. Fine. Okay, it's a bit upset. So finally, I received the You Got robot from a company called Ubitech. You got it, I got it. Get it? You got, I got. Anyhow, I spent a lot of money on this robot with my own expenses because I had to pay for the courier company and also this government as well. They want their own tax as well, you see. So I had to spend all of that to finally receive it. I apologize for the delay, but as promised from my previous video, this is one of the robots that I would really like to review for my channel because LTP Tech is mainly about robotics. So this one, the package itself, it allows seven robots to be in one. In other words, you could transform into seven different types of robot, which I'm really excited to try it out. I don't think I'll be able to cover every single one of this in this single video, but it will come into series if you don't mind. Now, the most important thing is that warning, choking hazard, small parts are included, so not for children under three years old. Gladly, my daughter just turned three years old, so I'm really, really happy about this fact. Anyhow, really nice package, really want to unbox and share with you guys the joy of doing this. So enough said, let's get on to it. So here it goes. Instruction, start off guider, get rid of the cover. This is the brain the cover for it, wrap. It's just collection of several wires, USB cable and USB-Cs, small screws. This might be the brain, and it is. Several plugs for USB-Cs, another three USB-Cs. I presume this is for air exhaust, for gathering heat and so on. It's like a transparent, um, also like a connection dock system here as well which is very interesting indeed a battery silica gel rest of the component to cover the brain itself you can hear the motor uh, moving around here so that's cool so we've got four of them and that is really cool this tiny camera itself distance sensing device as well the actual wheels and this basically can move the robot to go perpendicular okay so 90 degrees like that next level and another cover here it is again with that uh, motor leg component this is the charging dock some gear into it as well yeah pretty much all the leggings around this Let's take that out as well three layers like a reinforcement case front and the back interesting different kind of legging or joint a movement there another different kind of legging again allow holes in a combined way most boring simplified uh, sort of joint like a fingertip kind of uh, feel of thumb and a pointier finger so i think that's pretty much it for the last level so before we get on to the assembly of the first robot and downloading the app you would have noticed there are three types of different plugs here so those who are concerned whether you're going to have the right power plug and all you need to do is plug it in to the power charging cable or the adapter and then you just plug it into the battery itself and it's all good to go so just downloaded the app and it's pretty straightforward actually so if you go to the assemble guide you'll be able to see all these cool robots of selection so if you were to just click on one of them for example on this video i'm going to show you how to build this robot so it will actually show you what sort of components are required so this will be the page one to one of 30 and then you could go to next 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 and that's how you do it okay so after you assemble the robot of your attention you just need to click on the connect the robot press ok on it and then you can either connect by hotspot mode or through the routing mode as well. The third option is the ULab, which is that, um, I believe, a personal program by engineers. So you can actually try out some of these actually. So Rock, Paper, Scissor game, also the Doggy Dancer and Engineer Vehicle Dance as well, which is really cool. I wish I could try that very soon. And lastly, we got the album here as well. This is basically settings. So connect the robot user uh, information user guide 
in general and etc. Right, so to be able to build this simple robot out of all these components, you just need to choose these components here. And this briefly is the actual case itself. You also need to choose four of the screws. These are the tiniest parts that you get from UGOT. Um, I would be really cross if I lose any of them, by the way. Uh, so we got the camera dongle and the camera cable that I wasn't aware that we had one. Uh, the brain, uh, the actual wheels itself, the bottom cover and two gears and the slot and two USB cables out of many. So let's get on to the assembly. Look how cool this is. So if you're not sure which bit it goes into this component, you can always go to the app and actually move it around 3D version of it. So that's very clever. Now I'm starting to like these screws because you could easily take in and out, but you also do not need the screwdriver itself. You can easily do it by hand. It's a really comfortable way to do it. So this battery is 2,600 milliamp hour, which is pretty good. And that needs to go all the way inside here. Okay, so here is my first assembly robot. There are some cables dangling here, but I'm sure that'll be fine. This is for just testing, but it's all good to go. So let's actually turn on the power. Okay, nothing happening here so far. Well, we got the UGOT uh, logo popping in, DIY mode. So this is all touch screen, isn't it? So let's turn on the self-balancing robot. Oh, look at that. Cool. Okay, so we got some expression here. It's a shame that the actual face is on the top of the robot. I mean, this looks more like the... Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's, it's a shame that it's not here, but it's moaning something about... Oh, let's have a look. It says, placed properly. Okay, so it's not happy with the fact that I didn't place it properly. So let's actually place properly with it. And so on. It's almost like a um, vector-ish expression, isn't it? Look at that. So this is apparently a self-balancing robot. So let's see if, if there's anything we can do other than that. Oh, we got the question mark here. So I don't know whether I could chat with this robot. As you can see, there are three microphone uh, sort of slots here. And if I'm trying to actually you know, touch it or push it, it's actually self-balancing. And that's really clever, isn't it? I'm actually on the top of the table, so I don't want to drop it, but that is how it is so far. So if you do that, oh, stop being aggressive. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's really mad. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, I'll place it down. Fine. So what is quite interesting is that I'm actually facing the camera itself. I'm going left here, and then I'm actually going right. So this camera seems to have a full capacity or the software itself tracking my face. It's pretty clear. So that's very interesting indeed. So once I actually lift up my face, it's actually showing a question mark because it will notice I'm gone out of the face of the camera. Now you can actually touch the screen. It shows a question mark again, and um, you can, I guess, tickle it. And it's actually laughing and it's not liking it. Sometimes you will get mad and um, surprise as well. So there's definitely a touch screen uh, sensor response activity going on here. So if you were to press the screen for a couple of seconds like that, then you see um, program list. And if you were to click on that, unfortunately for this robot, it seems that uh, the program list is uh, empty at the moment. So no data is available, but I'm sure later on we could download that. If we scroll to the right we got settings here and we got the wi-fi bluetooth hotspot volume you can also adjust as well uh, you can switch the model and about and calibrate as well so if you go on to the driver mode because it's actually resting at the moment and it's connected to the app you press it and all of a sudden you'll be able to see what the camera can see so you can also control the robot by going forward um, also backward as well. And this is like a joystick, isn't it? So you can actually turn around and so on. 
and other functions such as you can actually uh, make a call a video recording take a photo and ai i think ai was quite fascinating actually because it can actually automatically track my face so let's say if i were to just um okay step back a bit and um, i don't know whether you can see my face here so if i click on that it will actually automatically track my face okay there was a bit of an update early on that I, it took about 20 minutes but this will get better and better with speaking capability and chat gpt and etc but at the moment it doesn't seem to be available for this particular robot so i think that's about it for the first part of the series of you got robot from ub tech this is quite a feisty one actually if you lift it up it's it's not impressed at all so it'll get really angry on you so i gotta be careful it's quite fun sometimes if you want to annoy the robot the surprising element of this self-balancing robot is the fact that it has the vector-like expression on the top of the screen but unfortunately the camera is actually on the front bottom side of it so i guess you've got to interact top bottom top bottom several times and so on to see what's going on um, i'm yet to discover whether you'll be able to talk but it has a chat gpt brain on it so i would really like to find out it has it's really big rather big size robot comparing to vector or emo and so on so i'm sure we'll have all these functions um, but at the moment maybe it's because it's the early stage we haven't got a default program set up but itself this robot is quite cute indeed um, and i look forward to try out other robots as well which i'll come back to you uh, very soon indeed and i would say the overall quality <laughs> i just actually fell off to sleep because i was not interacting with it but overall the materials and the packaging itself it's really cool indeed uh, so you won't regret getting the full package so thank you very much for delivering this uh ub tech and i look forward to share with you guys with the rest of the robot as well so speak to you soon all the best bye bye